Hey everyone, I'm Randy Olson, and today I'm going to walk you through a quick and dirty tutorial on how to do some really basic web scraping in Python. So the website we're going to practice on today is called moviebodycounts.com, and this is basically just a website where they, where a group of people have been counting the number of on-screen deaths in various films uh, uh, over, over the years. Uh, so you can see if we navigate over on the left menu here, they list out all of the movies they, they've done counts for um, by the first letter in the movie. And let's just jump into B, I guess. Um, and you can see when we click on B, they list all of the movies that, they, that they've done counts for, starting with B. Um, so actually, I see Braveheart in there. That's one of my favorite movies. So let's go and take a look at that one. Uh, and you see that when we go to the Braveheart page, they have all kinds of information listed out for, for Braveheart. Um, you know, the, the year it came out, nice DVD screen cover, directors, actors, MPA rating, IMD, IMDb links, and the really unique piece of information that this website has is the kill count. So usually they list it right here, um, which is the total number of bodies, um, dead bodies particularly, that you see in, in the film. So pretty intense that in two or three hours that, of Braveheart, there are 184 people that died on screen there. Um, so let's go ahead and, and find out how we can use Python to scrape this kind of information automatically off of the page so we, so we don't have to do this manually. So if we jump on over to the Python code, one of the libraries that's most common to use for, for reading web pages is called urllib2. So you can, you can import that library by just typing imp, import urllib2. And then if you want to have urllib2 read a web page, you just type urllib2.url open. We put strings there. And I'm going back to the other web page. You can't see this right now, but I'm just copying um, the URL at the top of my browser. And we just paste that URL in there, and then we tell urllib to read that web page. So if we run that, and we expand it out, uh, you see that this is basically just a bunch of HTML markup, uh, if you're familiar with that. It's actually pretty ugly HTML markup too, as you can see. Um, and, and if we wanted to scrape some really basic information, like just the kill counts, there's a lot of information to sort through here. Fortunately, there's a nice Python library called HTML2Text that you'll have to install separately. Um, just, just do a Google search for HTML2Text Python. Um, and if you pass all the HTML into this function, oops, actually we have to do HTML2Text import it. There we go. Okay. And we pass it to this HTML2Text function. If we print it out now, you see that it's all formatted in Markdown. So this is much cleaner and much easier for us to parse. So of course we can go through this line by line by say, we can treat this as just a list and we split it on line breaks and print the line. And so basically what I just did there is just a long form of, of printing it but now we actually have the ability to go line by line in this text. So you know, first we'll read this one, then we'll read that one, and we can decide which lines we actually want to keep. So if we go back to the web page, let's say the first thing we want to scrape is this, this IMDB link here. So you can see if we click on it, it'll take us to the, Bra the IMDB page for Braveheart. Um, so let's see if we can find a nice way um, a nice way to, to capture that as we go line by line. So probably the easiest way is that we know that the name of the link is IMDB. So we can check as we go through each line, is IMDB in that line? If it is, then just print that only that line. And you can see actually this, this works out pretty well um, because the only line that had IMDB in it is the line that has that IMDB link. Um, of course, we, we want to get rid of the rest of the text here so we can do some sort of uh, quick stream, stream man manipulation to just get that URL. So we can use the Python's string split function. And let's just have it split on the IMDB markup there. So if we print that, you see now that it's, it splits it into two items in a list. We have this dots.jpg, whatever, what, 
and then we have the link that we actually want, which is index number one. So now if we index there, you see now we have most of the link and we just have to strip off um, some extraneous markup there. So let's get rid of the comma and then also get rid of that parentheses. And now you see, sure enough, um, we've scraped through the entire web page and now we have that URL on the web page. So if I click on it, sure enough, there we go. We correctly scraped the IMDB URL. Now let's say we wanted to do the same thing to get the kill counts, right? Because that's really the unique thing on this web page. Well, we know that each page has this entire film colon on it. So if we use that as a marker, we can say if film colon in the line, print that line. And sure enough, that, that made enough that made for an easy marker for us to capture that line on. So again, we just have to do some quick cleanup where we can split the line on film again. And you see that splits it into two items. We want the first one. And there you go. Now now we have now we've scraped off of that entire page programmatically both the kill count and the IMDB link. And the, ni the nice part about doing this in code is that now if we want to go and do this for other web pages, like let's go back to the list uh, of web pages, um, let's say we were suddenly interested in mm, which movie looks interesting? Let's say Blood Diamond. I think there is quite a bit of death in that one. There we go. Yeah, there are 187 deaths. Goodness gracious. Um, so if we go to that web page and copy that URL, and we just put in that URL there, and we run it, sure enough, it, it gets, it again gets the, the correct IMDB page, so it gets Blood Diamond, and it gets the correct number of counts. So it says 187, and sure enough, 187 kills. So as you can see, this is this is a really nice, quick and dirty way uh, of of programmatically getting information off of web pages. Now there are of course other cleaner ways, like you could, using regular expressions or X, or XPath or various other things, um, but those usually require a little bit of fiddling, and of course you have to learn regular expressions. Whereas, th whereas this one, this is just a really simple for loop and finding uh, specific lines using if statements. Um, so this is usually the kind of web scraping I do, um, but I do recommend looking into regular expressions and various other things uh, that may be useful for web scraping. And with that, I'll wrap this tutorial up. Um, feel free to leave any questions in the comments, and I'll, I'll be happy to get back to you.